debated back then in your youth. Right? Um, were you thought in a certain way to be confident in the way you speak, or do you find it just as a natural thing that came along in presenting your views? Because I'm, I feel as a debater, your message definitely has to come across, and you have to give the persona you're very confident. It's not just a message, but about the person who gives delivers a message as well. Well, you know, you have to have a little bit of a thick skin to do what you do, yeah. you know, debating. But, um, sure, I mean, you, you go up there, everybody has the shakes before they speak. Mm -hmm. uh, most people do. Uh, and one of the things we learned over time was when you go up there, you pretend that you are confident when you're pretend. actually not. Yeah. You pretend you're confident, even though you're not. And the more you pretend, the more confident you become. And after a while, you don't have to pretend anymore because the confidence is already there. It, it comes in. But you kick-start it by, you know, just pretending, that, yeah, you know everything that you're going to say, everything's cool. And when you're not, you know, you're probably nervous. And, but uh, it helps because then you forget that you are nervous in the first place. And then the natural, the real confidence takes over. So on that note, will you agree if I say that Singaporeans, um, they're afraid to pretend to be confident because they're afraid of what the people might think of them when they make the first you know, leap, leap of faith, you know, giving a speech publicly? I think nobody wants to look silly. You know, they, they, we are all creatures of uh, you know, face. We don't want to lose face. But that being said, the way to minimize that is to know your material, right? I mean, if you know what you are talking about, if you have, if you uh, are an expert on on your topic, or you've already done the background uh, uh, research on it, you are less likely to mess up. You know, you got to go up there and you're confident because uh, you know your material. You know, but if you're talking about something you're not familiar with, uh, then there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Then you're just winging it. You know, you're just pretending you know something you don't. So homework's important. Doing all your homework is important. Or being on top of your topic. Knowing, be, being an expert on the area that you're speaking on is important. Because that's your foundation for not just uh, delivering the material in a confident and um, authoritative way. Mm -hmm. But it's also the foundation for you, if you are in a debate, for instance, and you are engaged in rebuttal, uh, that is your foundation for rebuttal as well. Because you, you can't, you know, just de rely on wit alone. You know, you've got to have that substance. substance yeah. Do you think Singaporean youth uh, as in, how do you feel about Singaporean youth speaking you know, in public? Do you think they have the credentials, they have the confidence to do so, or Singaporean youth are just very quiet in general? I think some of the, the, the are, there's a lot of talent out there, but I'm not sure if um, if that is even actively encouraged in schools. And we are all products of the education system, okay. right? Shut up and sit down. You know. <laughs> Be a good child, sit down, keep quiet. Uh, so I, I'm not sure whether, you know, culturally we are, we are comfortable with that. I mean, I've seen very talented speakers, Singaporean speakers, in my time. But when you when you when you go to a say a, another country and you see Singaporean young people interact with young people from other countries, you find that we tend Young people in Singapore tend to hold back, you know, and and uh, it's almost as if like you know we are, it's almost as if we are we are afraid to to say something for fear of looking silly. So it is not also in our culture to contradict or to argue or to to disagree in a in a witty way. So that is hard. So that that culturally, if you can't get rid of that then it's very hard to um, speak up confidently, I think.